Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be looking at where you need to start when you want to make some big radical life changes. <music> As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums who want to make the changes in their life. So this principle I like to refer to as the exercise video structure. You know those like old school exercise videos, the one where they've got like the thong leotards on? Okay, you might be too young to remember those, but my mum had some of them and I always thought they were great because I always had like massive complexes with my like weight and stuff when I was a kid, so I thought I'd try anything. Um, and so I watched some of those weird things. And there's always the instructor in the middle and then like two others, or if there's lots of others, they're kind of split into two groups and they'll be people doing the real basic level, the easy level, the level for the really unfit person that hasn't done exercise in a long time or has never done any exercise. And then there'll be the people doing the extreme level, those that are really into their fitness and have done loads of it. And then the instructor in the middle normally goes for like the middle ground because they need to be able to breathe while they're talking and things like that, explaining what's going on and keeping an eye on like the room and things like that. This is the same structure that I recommend when you want to start making some big life changes. So say they, for example, were trying to make themselves all super fit and like look better in their thong leotard things. Uh, but I'm talking about any big life change that you want to make. So if you wanted to start, I don't know, I'm going to like dressing better, but I'm going to go there. If you wanted to start dressing better or dressing more of a certain way, maybe you wanted to be more stylish and things like that, you could use this. If you wanted to manage your time better, you could use this. If you wanted to live a simpler, more minimalist life, you could use this. If you wanted to be more eco-friendly and create less waste, you could use this. And if you wanted to, say, relax more, you could use this. You could use this for any big change, big alteration you want to make to your life. And what it is, is that you start and allow yourself to start at the low level. Those beginner people on this side that are taking it a little bit easier, that are getting to know the movements, letting their brain connect the dots with how the limbs move in these particular things. You can then move on to the middle section and start putting in a bit more energy and trying a few more slightly trickier ones. You're adding in the jump as opposed to keeping your feet on the floor. And then you can move into the big extreme, which is probably the end game where you want to be. Not always, you may find you actually just want to do the lower end or the middle end, but that you build up their step. You don't run into the exercise class having done no exercise and go straight into the crazy level. And whatever it is you're trying to change, Build it up and put a good infrastructure in. Having that strong foundation will make whatever big change you're trying to make last. You're putting the work in, you're building your house on a solid foundation. So I wrote a blog article recently, so I'm gonna reference that, about writing to-do lists. Now, my to-do list now involves lots of staging of planning. I'm probably, I feel like there's always room for improvement, so I'm probably between the middle and the extreme. Um, I combine calendar blocking and monthly reviews and weekly reviews and like assessing my coming up day the night before and in the morning and then I just double check in at lunchtime and I have brain dumps and Trello lists and there's like loads of things going on that actually is all just part of me getting my to-do list done. But I've built up to this and my basic level where I started was writing a to-do list and then splitting it into the four boxes of important and urgent, important and non-urgent, non-urgent and important and non-urgent and unimportant. Um, and there's a whole blog that I will link to about this. And that is, if you want to start managing and getting through your to-do list more and being a bit more productive, that is an amazing place to start. Or one of the other ones I say is, set three intentions for the day that you want to do. Start there. And then you add in some of the other skills. So you might get to the middle set and add something like a weekly review or a monthly review and things. And build on the skills. Do you end up with 
the final end is often a lot more tailored to you and a lot more specific to you and you've learned through these stages that what you personally need to be the end result that you want. The exercise class, um, exercise video structure for me helps you create the perfect or close to perfect end goal because you've done the journey and you've learned so much along the journey too. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood and remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. Oh